The Gold Coast population is growing. In fact, by 2050, it's expected to double to 1.2 million. As our population increases, so does the amount of excess recycled water the city generates. Existing infrastructure capacity is nearing its limit. The city's solution is a long-term plan to increase the capacity of the existing recycled water network. We're nearing completion of stage one of the plan and reached a significant milestone in May 2020. After more than 12 months of work, a pipeline was installed approximately 20 metres under the bed of the Narang River between Winchester Street Southport and Waterways Drive Main Beach. The new pipeline duplicates existing infrastructure, transferring recycled water from the southern Gold Coast to the Gold Coast Seaway. The Narang River crossing is one of two marine crossings that form part of the Gold Coast long-term recycled water release plan. I'm Mark Herman the City of Gold Coast Project Manager for the Long Term Recycled Water Release Plan. During the planning phase, we decided on a construction method known as horizontal directional drilling to lessen the impact on the environment and minimise disruption to our community, especially waterway users. Initially, machines from either end of the crossing drilled a pilot hole under the riverbed, meeting in the middle, without affecting in or on the water. This pilot hole was then expanded until it was large enough for the pre-assembled pipeline to be pulled through the pre-drilled hole. In addition to the drilling, sites where the pipe entered and exited the riverbed, a temporary lay down and assembly location had to be arranged for the months of work that went into joining the single pipeline lengths into one continuous 900 metre long string. The chosen site was part of the popular recreation area known as Mundawera Spit, adjoining Doug Jennings Park near the Gold Coast Seaway. After the polyethylene pipe, 900 metres long and 1.2 metres in diameter, was joined by fusion welding it was then tested and towed three kilometres through the busy boating channel of the Southport Broadwater. This was a technically challenging task, heavily dependent on tides and favourable weather conditions. It took teams of people on both land and water, working continuously for 48 hours to complete the final installation. Contractors, city staff, water police and Maritime Safety Queensland monitored the marine towing operation as well as the safety of other marine users. The size of the pipeline and length of the crossing required large machinery and equipment as the pipeline was moved from its pre-assembled position to its final location under the river. In total, 13 barges, tugs and boats were involved in the on-water process and on land there were a similar number of large excavators, cranes and tow trucks that guided the pipeline on rollers to direct it into the pre-drilled hole. The Narang River crossing is one of two marine crossings that form part of the Gold Coast long-term recycled water release plan. A second pipeline extends from Bigger Creek to South Stradbroke Island and is now also complete. Other elements of this recycled water project include major pump station upgrades at Coomaba and Banoa and upgraded release points at the Gold Coast Seaway. To successfully complete this complex engineering project, a team with specialised skills was required. Our delivery partners included John Holland Queensland, Dunstan's Construction Group, GEM Industrial Poly Welding and Marine Civil Contractors. The city continues to update the community in the vicinity of the works and we're grateful for everyone's patience and support. For more information, visit cityofgoldcoast.com.au forward slash recycled water.